78 Sports TV here. So I'm checking out my boy Boxing Beast and Rhymes page. Doing it from Boxing Beast and Rhymes channel. This is Tony Thompson. Chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. Hey, Glenn, you chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. This is that Mayor Hawk Four Man Store on Boxing Beast and Rhymes YouTube channel. I don't know if you're an answer. Possible Manny Pacquiao fight with Boy Mayor. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, basically, I mean, it's a fight that still has the potential to happen. Look. In all truth, yeah, we know he can punch. We know the man can punch, but his opponent didn't work hard enough to get the two pounds off. He looked a bit heavy around the midsection to me, you know. He committed suicide standing right in front of Golovkin, which we knew he was going to do, you know. Which we knew he was going to do. Stood square in front of the guy. You know, took some decent punches in the first round, fired back. Second round, didn't make no adjustments, just did the same thing. A body shot got in there, a right uppercut, and a left hook finished him, you know. And he got knocked out, he got knocked out. Second round knockout, predictable, routine, devastating. He can punch very hard. This win, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, I know you guys are going to go crazy, this win didn't tell me anything, didn't really tell me anything, you know, I never rated Rubio, going into the fight, I don't care if he was interim or this, that, he didn't do anything to peak my radar, you know, so I don't want to criticise the win, good win, good win, but anyone who says that some of Golovkin's opponents aren't suspect, you're just a fanboy. And yeah, I'm, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hit the dislike button. But I'm going to have my say. I'm going to have my say. He's beating who they put in front of him. And you can't ask a pro to do any more than that. And um, if it's a case that the rest of the middleweights fear him, well, yo, I mean, he's entitled to make his money taking these fights, if that's the case. If that is the case. But if you guys ain't clamoring for this guy to fight an elite fighter next fight. You're just fanboys. If you're just going to run, yeah, he's defending his belt, knocking people out. You're just fanboys. Ain't you tired of seeing this guy being touted as an elite fighter, but not fighting elite fighters? What's the deal? What's the deal? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah? Second round KO. He retains his WBA belt. Is it the WBA? I don't, I don't care. I don't care if I get them wrong. You know? I mean... Yo, put him in with Jermaine Taylor. Let him knock out Jermaine Taylor. It would be good for a few rounds, though, behind Taylor's jab. He's not just going to go in there and blast Taylor out. He has to get past the jab first. He has to get past that jab. And, um, yeah, let him go blast Taylor out. He'll, he'll win that. He'll win that. But, you know, what else can he do? What? Like, see, I have to be fair. What else can he do? You know? I can't ask him to go and move up to fight Andre Ward. Even though he was keen to fight Carl Frutch, but not Andre Ward. At 168. Which seems a bit strange to me. Why are you keen to fight Frotch but not Ward? You know, the bandwagon moves on. The bandwagon moves on. I'm just um not overwhelmed by this guy's opponents. I'm just not. I'm just not, you know. Look, even if it's just routine that he kills a Peter Quillen or um, a, a Cotto or... I don't know. I don't know. When he fights the opponent that I think he should, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know. This is just my opinion. If you guys think he's the best middleweight ever, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Second round KO. Golovkin takes out Rubio, you know. <laughs> who all he had really had to offer was his bravery. Um, I, I didn't see him try and set up a, any kind of angles or make my guy miss. His plan was just to come up there with his guard and just basic boxing. No footwork, no, no nothing. No nothing. No spinning Golovkin. No nothing. No nothing at all. So, um, I think Golovkin is a great talent. I think he's a great talent. But it doesn't matter what I think or what I... I need to see him quantify this talent against the elite opposition. I need to see that. And until then, this is how I'm going to describe what I see on the screen. Whether you like it or not. Peace out.